Hello YouTube, today we're checking out this retro gaming image from Virtual Man, recently released with the latest updates and tweaks already implemented on it. This is an arcade only, so we're going to primarily see Arcade, which is MAME, a Thomas Wave, Daphne, Naomi, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, and Open Bore. And as I mentioned, what makes this so great is it is one of the newest releases. It's filled with bezels and screensavers and themes and all the extra scripts you might want. Everything from safe shutdown scripts to music scripts. A plethora of splash screens, music, a lot of customization already done on this one. This one will allow you to put on a hard drive and you can also download those expansion packs that I've showed you where you can add an external hard drive or just transfer the ROMs directly via the network. In this video, let's go ahead and take a quick peek on the image. Share with you, a lot of comments I get is like how many hoops you have to jump through to get an image like this and just share with you a really short process of how I do it. And then we'll also just share with you my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So on first boot, it is on a theme randomizer. So every time you boot up, you will see a different theme. This thing is rocking 2,701 games, and you'll see later in the video, I show you the file size, but it's slightly under 100 gigabytes. I have this on a SanDisk Ultra Extreme, or Extreme, and uh, it is, uh, you know, it fit fine, it, it ran fine, uh, no issues as far as that goes. Now, as far as games, you have 2,039 arcade games, those will include some Capcom games as well within this. And you can always hit select and jump to a letter and see what's going on. You'll notice there are not only pictures, but video snaps. You can also change and sort all this information uh, and customize it yourself. If you back out, we go to a Thomas Wave. I'll share you the list of a Thomas Wave games. Now we are on the Raspberry Pi 4 and it has, if you're new to the scene, it has come a long way. And yes, you can often play a lot of these Atomus Wave court, uh, games. They will run better on an overclock, which by the way, there is a built-in overclock script in here as well. So Daphne games, a lot of people don't like to you know, download the BIOS and get everything working for Daphne. So a lot of that is done for you here, which is a big plus for a lot of people. Naomi, 90 games, a lot of really great Japanese games made. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, these are all fun, fun games. In my opinion, Naomi runs slightly better than a Thomas Wave, but again, it depends on the game. I just find that a lot of the Naomi games run fairly well. Like Power Stone, the SNK games, they run just fine. Street Fighter Alpha 3, Tetris, all this stuff, really fun to play as well. And as I mentioned, you just hold down and you got video snaps. Neo Geo, 140 games is pretty standard. It's going to be your Arts of Fighting. It's going to be your Metal Slugs, Fatal Fury, King of Monsters 1 and 2, all your Metal Slugs, Neo Drift Out, Puzzle Bobble, Samurai Showdown, Super Sidekicks, all the King of Fighters, World Heroes, and Zed Blade. Neo Geo CD, 92 games here. Some duplicates, but um, as you see, you get the other versions as well. Metal Slug 1 and 2, Neo Drift Out, Samurai Showdown, King of Fighters, World Heroes, perfect. Open Boar, one of the bigger collections of Open Boar I've ever seen, and also just um, a lot of, if you go to his forum, you'll see a lot of people talking about these games, which games run, which games don't, you know, setting up your controls with a keyboard, all that stuff. Um, there's quite a bit of good tutorials out there and uh, if you want just a large collection look no further because this is a ginormous collection as you see I haven't even played half these games a lot of really good side scrollers Sonic Defense Liberations Revolution, Battle. We got the music. All right, Streets of Rage, a lot of those. Offshoots, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know a lot of you guys like those. Look at these 
classics. Um, and there's even some more here. And a bunch of X-Men as well. And then you have Arcade Old School, which is your old school arcade games. Really great classics like Altered Beast, Aliens, Bad Dudes, you know, Many Many Bomberman, Contra, Donkey Kong, G.I. Joe. Great game right there. All right, and then you have uh, your different collections. So it looks like you can go to custom collection and cl select any of them here. Or you have, um, okay, he doesn't have them on. Okay, got it. So this makes it shorter. It lets it makes it so you can go through the whole menu in about 10 scrolls instead of, uh, instead of you know, a lot. And, um, but if you go to custom collections, you have like all your trackball games, all your racing games. And it actually depends on what theme you're on. So you notice this theme, I have, it, I have custom collections in their own folder. But if I change the theme, like I was just on a different theme and it was different, let's just do uh, He-Man. So what I did here is I pressed back. It takes a moment just to change your theme. You do not need to restart your Pi if you change the theme. Um, so as you see here, this particular vertical theme in Emulation Station, it what goes ahead and it has its own buttons for all this. So where the other one didn't have it all out like this. But look how long it takes me to go through the entire menu. So there, I finally got all games. Look how long it takes you to go through the entire menu. It's a long scroll. So I don't think that's necessarily on design. Maybe it is. I also think it might just be when they make these themes, they have to make individual buttons. All these are individually Photoshopped buttons that somebody had to make. And did want to do a quick tutorial on how to get this all set up. So go ahead and register to the Retro Lounge, virtualman.freeforums.net. So once you register, go ahead and read the welcome rules and things. But, you know, you can find the downloads and the, and the bundle packs in this forum as well. Within the welcome rules, there is a welcome to Virtual Man. And you can see you should always start there. And there's actually information there on how to access backups.me. Once you have access to backups.me, you have access to a lot of things. And there is a whole Raspberry Pi section. And within that section, you can find a lot of really great uh, things. So uh, download at your own risk, but you can see um, a lot of the builds here. So as far as a torrenting program, I like Qbit Torrent. And you just download this program, install it, and then you can go ahead and download magnet links, which will allow you to do peer-to-peer -peer transfers. You can also do things like VPNs so that you can change or mask your IP address. Let's assume you've made it this far. You now have your micro SD in. You want to go ahead and format it. I'm going to be putting this on 128 gigabyte. Go ahead and format. It's just a, you just Google SD card formatter. You'll find a bunch of different programs. You can even just do it within Windows as well. I'm then going to use Win32 Disk Imager. You can also use a program called Etcher. My E drive is my drive there. I'm going to go and find my file here. Click this and it'll open up a new Windows Explorer. Within my Windows Explorer, you can see I have both the 64 and the 128. The 128 is the one I'm going to be checking out. And how big is this file? It's 115 gigabytes, but uh, the size on disk is only 99.1. It should fit. It usually gives you a warning message right about now if you can't fit it. So the last thing we're going to do is write it and then say yes. Now this is a pretty fast micro SD card. So it's going to take me about 30 minutes to it should speed up or less to write 128 gigabyte image again it all depends on how fast your sd card is once this is done writing it'll say complete i will go ahead and put it in my raspberry pi and boot it up so it probably just takes a lot more time so let's go ahead and play some games um you know let's go ahead and start with the racing game so you see here we have all kinds of racing games let's just go to like a middle letter here no, no, I guess we'll do Formula One. Let's try that. The Raspberry Pi does work with arcade sticks. I recently did a video on a cheap one, but you can also do, you know, all sorts of stuff like a tank stick. And there's a lot of, you know, 8-Bit um, Doe is about to come out with a new stick. There's a lot of sticks out there. Round one. Welcome to the Italy Grand Prix. If a stick says it works for PC, it's usually a good bet. 
So what I did is I um, inserted tokens with select on my controller. It should be whatever you set your special hotkey to. Oh, this game is very, if you even touch the railing, it doesn't like it. Pit stop, I don't need one. Is that bad? I got it. Wow, not doing so well. Start select out. As you saw there, we had bezels on. It was running really great. Let's go ahead and play a shoot em up. Let's go ahead and scroll down to a different letter here. Let's try something in K. Let's try Mad Shark. So he does have a, um, you saw there the virtual man picture. You can, you know, change those to videos if you want or change those out, it's all up to you. So I went ahead and inserted in some tokens. And did not mean to do that. So the sound was a little glitchy there at first, but now it's better. And this is a game that does require you to hold down that button in order to get... Oh, I didn't see that. Wow. Mad Shark. So there you go. Let's try an SNK game. We'll try 8-Man. Looks like we're playing all arcade games. Let's go ahead and make sure we do a Naomi game and a, and a, uh, maybe Neo Geo. Right, wow, if you have headphones on, it goes from left to right. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button the whole time. I do like that he added the light gun collection. Nice to see. If you want to play some light gun games, nice little collection here. And then I did want to show you really quickly. If you go over here to options, this is all the good stuff here. Uh, this light gun config does not work currently. Somebody's working to fix that. Uh, but uh, you got the net play, easy access. If you have Zinmo style. Uh, any kind of gamepad, that's the one that I made. You can easily, you know, set those up and change some configurations here. Easily get into RetroArch itself and change some stuff out. Uh, what's your IP address? Set up your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi. So if you have like an 8-bit DOE controller or something like that, you can do that here. System tools, you got uh, everything from managing your files. Here's your overclock script if you want to overclock. I can overclock mine of 2 gigahertz, no problem. It runs great. Uh, and if you want to boot off a USB device there as a secondary device, and then uh, the bezel project, emulation station themes, um, you know, splash screens, all that stuff. If you want to change the uh, theme randomizer, you could do it there. Music on and off script for background music. Raspi config, RetroPie setup, and system info. This is all just more stuff that you may or may not use. RetroPie setup is where you download new emulators and you update your cores. And then you have vman postscripts fixes, which is really cool. So he has a GitHub, and as new things get found out or he finds new fixes, he can throw those to you through a internet connection, and you can update your image as you go. And then uh, you have the Playbox toolkit as well. You click on that. There's a bunch of 
uh, scripts for the operating system that are very useful as well. Um, the other thing I noticed, so this one doesn't have pixel on the home screen where the, some of the newer ones do, but I think that's a good call considering that, you know, you're running this on an arcade, not a, you're probably not using set like a desk with a keyboard. So there you have it. My final thoughts, another great arcade only image. You know me, I'm more about having a up-to-date image. However, a lot of the fixes, if I'm being honest, a lot of the fixes that have been done to this image versus the other images are not as big of a deal. However, I know how much people, um, I, I don't know if lazy is the word or they just don't want to deal with it. Uh, so people like it already made, ready, set, go. So for you guys, you're in luck. Here's a up-to-date uh, arcade image with quite a few things. And the fact that he has those add-on packs available to you makes this all the better. Now, don't forget, if you have the old 64, 128 version, you can still use those add-on packs. You're not limited to just this one here. Although, it's like I said, it's always nice starting fresh. I'm just trying to be honest that you, know, you don't have to, but it might be nice. Now, with all that said, the other images, I love them. They got great scores, so this one is no different. I really like it. It's really great. But I just want to check it out for all of you so you can make your own decision. But anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.